Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, and don't forget to check out my website, waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, and the link is in the description box below, where I am Liz Quinn, your certified Scentsy consultant. Also, if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate all of you. So today, it is a Saturday, and I got a super Scentsy haul for you in the mail. And usually I don't get my Saturday deliveries because FedEx's updates change it and it ends up getting pushed out to a Monday. So I am super, super happy to share all of this goodness with you. So I have Easter, I have clearance, and I have hostess rewards. So this is a nice, big, wonderful haul. So first off, probably the most important thing in here is the Easter collection. I have not smelled these. This is total first sniffs. So Sensi says that the blueberry burst has blueberry, black raspberry, and caramelized or crystallized sugar. So here is blueberry burst. This is the Easter trio. And maybe they finally made a blueberry scent I like. Let's see. This smells like a blueberry, a nice sweet blueberry, not blueberries with other stuff, not blueberries with funkiness, not blueberries with pomegranates, just a nice blueberry. And that black raspberry will probably really round it out well because I love black raspberry and raspberry notes in fruity scents. Mm, so I think this is going to be a good one. I've always wanted a good blueberry scent and I'm just not into blueberry rush and I haven't really liked uh, berry bright or any of those. So. This looks like it'll be a winner for me. And I will probably be reporting on Wednesday, my What I've Been Warming Wednesday, on all three of these. I'll get them in this weekend and we'll talk about them on Wednesday. So next is Raspberry Lollipop. And Sensi says, raspberry, raspberry Puree, Tangy Twist with Crystallized Sugar and Vanilla. So Raspberry Vanilla and Sugar, I think I'm going to love this. Mmm, and I do, this is so good. Oh, this is nice. Mm. When I was a kid, there used to be these raspberry and cream strip like bars where there were strips of the cream and strips of the raspberry all together and then you could take it in your lunchbox kind of like a granola bar. This reminds me of that in a good way. Oh, nice. These are nice. And then last but not least, the one I am the most excited about because on our end of the month live, I heard that this smells like lemon loaf tea from Starbucks and my younger daughter is over the moon. Lemon drizzle cake. And this one, since he says, lilac sugar, vanilla icing drizzle, and the sweetest lemon butter cake. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> this one's Pride Club worthy. Mmm. This is like squeeze the day softer with a little bit more of a bakery note. And I don't know if the lilac, well, there's the lilac. There is the lilac. Mmm. Okay, this I am very excited to warm. So that is the Easter trio. Now I have a whole bunch of bars. I've got a bunch of little clearance goodies and then I have four warmers and a mini warmer. So stay through the whole thing. And these are amazing. I have never really been excited about an Easter trio before because typically they throw in something we've already had or something I don't like. These are very nice. So then the other bar, which isn't brand new, brand new, but it is the second time, I think, or third time that it's ever been released is Dumbo. And I have not smelled this in probably two years. Oh, it's so good. I think this is peach and mango and vanilla. Mm, this is light and very, very fruity without necessarily being tropical, but it could be tropical if you threw in some pineapple or some coconut with it. Mm, this just reminds me of like kind of an orange Julius. It's creamy, it's light, it's very, very happy. So Dumbo is definitely a winner. From what I remember, it's quite light on throw, so that's the only downside. So I have two bars of this, one for the daughter, the younger daughter, one for me. We'll see how it goes. If it's a good enough performer, that's probably going in my club because I remember it being a very pleasant scent. So let's get into the rest of the bars. There is one more in this pile I have never smelled because when I was doing the Disney, I wanted to do um, you know, like a three pack. So there is Mickey Mouse and friends in this whole pile over here. And I have never, ever smelled that except in a tester. But first off in my, a couple of six bar bundles over here, I have Atlantic air. This one is like a seaside with a little bit of orchid. 
It's very light. It's very refreshing. And if you struggle with scents that are too strong, this would probably be a very, very safe bet. It's very elegant. Then on the opposite end of the scale, Rainbow Sherbert, which is one of the very strongest, if not the strongest, maybe tied with sun-soaked petals, which isn't in this pile in the catalog right now. This thing is a powerhouse. It is like all the sherbet notes, sort of like a raspberry and an orange, and then this wonderful key lime zest that cuts through all that sweet. A very good bar, very good performer. This is one where you need one, maybe two cubes in the whole uh, open concept, and then uh, you're good. So Shoreline Drive, this is the new release, and I am really liking this. I used a couple cubes a couple days ago, and I definitely wanted more. So this is Sea Mist, and the last time that I melted it, I got the passion flower that they say is in it. It's very, very nice. And then to go with that, because I did actually melt these on the same day, by the sea. This is a family favorite. My husband loves this. This is a little bit more salt water than Atlantic air and not as um, like room spray as Shoreline Drive. This is beautiful. This is so refreshing. It's definitely a classic. I believe they keep it in the catalog all year round and I see why. Okay, then we have one that I was kind of thinking ahead because literally there's snow out on my driveway when I'm talking to you about this. This is for summertime, Havana Cabana. And this is so happy. Mm, this has pineapple and it's got banana, not too much banana, just enough to make it feel like a fruit salad party. Oh, it is just sunshine and tropical and it makes you just want to go get your beach umbrella and your towel and your swimsuit and go lay out on the beach great scent. Super happy. Not super strong though, so I usually have to have a couple bars of this so that I can throw in extra cubes. It's kind of like Dumbo. Actually, these two together would probably make a really, really nice uh, combo melt in alternating warmers. All right, here it is. I have never smelled this in a bar. Mickey Mouse and Friends. This is interesting. People kept saying peach rings and I think I was looking for more peach. I think this is peach and vanilla and I don't actually have the notes on me. I'm gonna have to warm this and see what I get. I definitely get a candied sweetness and I get some vanilla, but I feel like I'm picking up more multiple fruits. So that that's intriguing to me. It's definitely kind of sweet and very candy-ish. So then this is actually for uh, someone, there's a, one of these warmers here is a present. This is the three pack for her. This is called Be Fabulous. It totally goes with the lady's personality. This is limoncello and grapefruit and it's super refreshing and tart, but in the best way. This came out as a scent of the month quite a while ago and I was really hoping it would make it into the catalog and it has come back for a couple seasons in the spring summer catalog and it's really, really good. So if you like citrus blends, definitely try that. All right, and then just another perennial favorite. We need more of this all through spring and summer. Amazon Rain. Amazon Rain is just a classic. It's beautiful, it's creamy, it's coconutty, it's melony, it's jasmine-y, it's green. Oh, it's gorgeous. Kind of a medium throw. So again, this one, it's not as light as Savannah Cabana, but I tend to need more cubes if I'm really going to enjoy it in a space. So that is Amazon Rain, absolutely classic. Would be in my top 10 for spring and summer, maybe close to my top five. All right, then just another bar of this because I've been melting a lot of it, 100 Acre Wood. If you've been watching any of my videos, you already know what's in this because I've been talking about it for a month, but it's cotton blossoms and uh, very gentle florals, beautiful, beautiful scent and not terribly strong. Again, if you struggle with the strength of a scent, that is a good one. Okay, then I have two baked apple pie. One is going to the, the lady that the warmer and the bee fabulous are for, but this is wonderful. So I needed another one for me because it's just such a classic bakery scent. Apple and the perfect amount of cinnamon spice and that, that definite impression of the bubbling over juices from a good apple pie. And a lip, just a little bit of crust, not very much, but it is a perfectly balanced apple baked scent. Then I have another one of vanilla bean buttercream because I've been doing a lot of mixing lately. This is just buttercream with a good hit of vanilla extract in it. Very nice, balanced, rounded, more assertive than sugar cookie, which now you can only get in a brick. So this is better to mix with stronger scents and sugar cookie I feel is better for scents that you still want a mix, but maybe you don't want to steamroller it with all that vanilla. 
pineapple mango. This is my second bar of new release so that I can melt a lot of this. I haven't really yet, only a couple cubes. Oh, this is gonna be so good though. This is pineapple and mango in perfect balance. Juicy, oh, so juicy. And sweet, and I think there's a little bit of passion flower in this one. I'm probably mixing that up. There's something else in here, and I don't have a catalog on me, like I said, that adds another dimension to that, and it's really cool. So then another classic that is to go with the, the warmer and the wax trio is black raspberry vanilla. This is the scent that you get for someone the first time you gift Scentsy because everybody likes it. It's equal amounts of the uh, black raspberry and the vanilla. It's a classic, it's beautiful, and for the most part, it offends no one. And then just because I've been going through a lot of it, one more bar of Relax for good measure, bergamot, vanilla sugar, and amber, and wonderful. Mm, such a good bar. If you have not tried this yet and you like earthy, woodsy, warm, relaxing, please try it before it goes away. I don't know how long the All Is Well collection is going to stay, but eventually there will be a day when you go to order it and it won't be there anymore. And put it in your club if you loved it because usually the LTOs do not come back for Bring Back My Bar. So now I have a whole little box here of clearance goodies. The first thing in here was a scent that showed up and I could get enough of it that I did take it out of my club. And that is Mold Cider and Spice. So this is one of those bars that I really like, but because I'm only going to melt it probably November, December, how many does one girl need, you know? Oh, this is so good though. I know this has blood orange and cider and mulling spices and it is so Christmassy or Thanksgiving-y. It's fantastic, but the reality is I'm probably only going to get through one bar a season, so I have three plus I think two more in the basement. I'm good for a while. So that is a fantastic, fantastic bar. Right, then I got a Scent Circle and Mighty Pine because that's one of my faves. If that wasn't in my club, you'd see a whole stack of that here in this clearance hall, but I'm keeping that in my club for a good long time. It was just such a great smell. A wonderful uh, Carbara pumpkin roll that I'll put away for the fall. Two scent packs that I ordered that actually went with something else that I already gifted, but the parent didn't want these for the buddies that I ordered. So I now have two uh, packs of... 100 acre wood and we have buddies so we'll just put them in there and I got a scent circle of apple butter frosting a scent circle of ooh, two of them in red berry and spruce which I really really like and then a car bar and almond croissant which I'll probably plug this right into well not plug but hang this right in my car almost immediately love this I might even get some more of these if they're still hanging around and four soaps so I never tried Appleberry last fall. There were just too many other tempting things. So this is going to be put away. And I think this is pomegranate and apple. And I'm wondering if we're going to see this in a bar this fall. So I wanted to see if I liked the scent. And Cozy Cardigan, which I was talking about in my Cozy and Fresh video. This is wonderful. If this hangs around for a while and I need to make another order, I might throw in another bottle of that and then more for summertime I have pineapple coconut vanilla and I don't even remember what this scent is like because it's been forever since I've had a bar and last but not least for the middle of the summer watermelon tangerine so these soaps are cute they're really really nice for me to tuck up next to my cleaning products on the kitchen sink because they are small so they last a long time there because you're washing your hands with so many different things that unlike the bathroom you know i'm not going to go through that much soap at the kitchen sink so after that we have the grand finale which are the warmers first off this is not one that i would purchase for myself although it is gorgeous because i don't have a lot of glam elements in my home but this is the time to reflect and it is absolutely stunning it has a wall pattern and it is glitzy and gorgeous and this is for the lady that the gift set is for our fantastic accountant will be receiving this as a thank you because it's almost tax season and after that this one my daughter's had her eye on and she was thrilled when we pulled it out of the box. This is a new release warmer. This is Rock Quarry. 
and each and every one of these, I believe, gets its own unique pattern. Now, this thing's got one funky dish. Look at that. So this holds four cubes. This one has an Edison bulb, so the soft quality of the light is fantastic. I will be stealing this when she's not looking. If you've been watching for a while on my channel, you know my younger daughter and I have these epic battles over who gets what warm or when. So Rock Quarry is a winner. It's big, too. Let's see. You can see the difference. It's a little bit larger than uh, this one, which is kind of an average size warmer. And it is an absolute beauty. And the particular pattern we got on this one is great. So it's a little bit cooler toned when you turn it off, but still absolutely gorgeous. It is warm, soft earth tone rather than cool earth tone, just so that you that are at home, if you're trying to judge from the camera color, will this look good in my space? If you have sand, if you have blush, if you have uh, coral or terracotta, this will be amazing with it. All right, and then last but not least, in full-size warmer, I have been looking at this in the catalog since it came out, but I didn't need it, so I had party rewards and I basically got this for free. This is light from within and the base is sort of a black brown or a black depending on how you see it it's just a really nice smooth finish and then this beautiful beautiful porcelain is glazed so if you're like me and you love all those white warmers but you're worried about the outside on the unglazed ones getting marked this one should wipe up just fine now it's got all these little divots which will make it kind of a pain to clean but the wax color will not leach into this warmer so I haven't lit it up yet. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah. This, this is so me. Like this is classic. This will go with almost anything. It's a little bit on the petite side. It's a little bit larger than the glisten warmer, which I actually gave to a relative. So I can't show you in comparison, but if you have the glisten, this is slightly larger. Uh, this one I think is a, yeah, it's a 20 watt. This is a 20 watt. I think the time to reflect is 25 and the um, rock quarry is a 40 watt Edison bulb. So this is gorgeous. I am, I'm really, really going to like this. And I know that this has a beautiful wall pattern and that it's gorgeous with colored bulbs because the porcelain really diffuses the light in a beautiful way. And it has a frosted dish. So I had to have this, especially for fall and winter. So this right now, I don't think it sold out on the clearance section of the website, 36 bucks, great deal. And like for me, it was totally a steal because I had hostess rewards. So the very last thing is that I was able to get my daughter the baby size match to her Happy Herbitat. And that is our Lavender Love, which is the cutest little mini. Let me plug it in. There we go. It has a beautiful soft glow. And if you had the opportunity to pick up the Happy Herbitat last year, this is a perfect match. Now let me put this on the other base that it comes with. So this doo -doo, is what you're going to get unless you purchase this separately. So this is your Lavender Love and it looks like they actually do indents with all of the lavender sprigs and then hand paint it in and it is absolutely gorgeous. I'll put it back on the little mini stand so you can see the color when it is lit. This would also be very pretty with the Perfect Poppy Warmer, which I believe will have the same kind of uh, soft glow from a very similar material, and it has a beautiful crackle finish. So that is everything that I got. I think this is probably the biggest haul I've ever done for y'all, and I am very excited to order the Chasing Rainbows uh, there's a five wax collection, all bright primary colors that I can get my hands on next week that whenever they can get it to me, I will upload that video and back to those Easter um, waxes. I will try to have them in my what I've been warming for Wednesday. And thank you everybody for all of your time, all of your support. If any of this stuff piques your interest, waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, especially for clearance. Go check them out before they're gone and have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.